Hello everyone, it is Wednesday, August 29th in the year of our Lord 2012. How are all you doing out there? I am awesome as always, wicked awesome, it's Happy Hump Day! That's right, Happy Hump Day. Halfway home to the weekend and victory. And beer is good for you. Let's start off right with our unofficial sponsors of the show. My man, Wally Fortier. Wally's aluminum shaping process, not Wally's ass sculpting process. Well, he probably wouldn't mind that either. Makes aluminum art, all kinds of stuff. You name it, the man can make it. Facebook.com slash Waspa. That's W-A-S-P-A-A. -A. My friend, Tom Walk. This guy, general manager of Stevens Rubber Stamps and Sign Company here in Yeehaw! Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. And uh, Yeehaw, Texas. All kinds of good stuff as you see there. So come on down to Abilene here in Yeehaw, Texas. Get yourself some stuff. And then my good friend, Crystal Lloyd Dozani, KJ Lloyd, Organo Gold Coffee. Great way to start the day or the night or whatever have you. There's the website address, KJ Lloyd. Organogold.com. She's also an aspiring 50 style pinup girl and actress. She's in a comic book. She's a published poet twice. And a phenomenal aerospace ground equipment maintainer at one time when I worked with her in jolly old England. Phenomenal. she got lots of skills. Also, shout out to Mustang Brewing Company out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Phenomenal beer and a I'm very supportive of my show, so thank you again, as always, for your continued support. Um, I may be sending some business to you, just thought I'd give you a heads up. Also, a big shout out to my friends Johnny and his better half, Emma Montgomery. Um, check it out, website www.theravel, that's T H E R A V E L dot com. Johnny's website, great website. With that said, let's get to the beer. That's what the show's about. Beer and song of the day. New Belgian Brewing Company, Red Hop Tober. I've had it on the show before. Time to have it again. The fall seasonal. And remember, 6% alcohol by volume. Best served at 45 degrees Fahrenheit. 7 degrees Celsius. You know beer is good for you. That's right. Obviously, the proper uh, beer opening apparatus. And, of course, the proper beer consumption apparatus, 45-degree angle, right over the keyboard, because I'm just that damn good. Never spilled a drop on it. Cheers and beers to all of you. Kumpai. Sorry, Justin, damn it. I did not get the pop action, I know. Mmm. <sighs> Good amber ale indeed. With that said, see, fall seasonal beers generally will have a lot of good spices and stuff like that. This one's got Centennial, Cascade, and Eldorado hops. Not really tasting any spices in there. In fact, there's a slight, almost a piney taste to it. But it's a good pine. And maybe it's something like that. Hmm. Who knows? Anyway, let's get to some birthday shout outs. And shame on me. I did not know this man's birthday was three days ago, August 26th in the year of our Lord, 2012. A comical naver that I work with here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. And that'd be my man, Luis Lopez. Dude, happy birthday to you. Told you I'd give you a shout out on the show. I am here for you, brother. I support like a double D bra underwire. That's a lot of support. I am here for you. And uh, cheers and beers to you, my friend. Celebrate well and enjoy this weekend. Just be smart. Be smart, be safe. Remember that. That's what I always preach. And I am entitled to preach. For I am a legally ordained reverend. Yep, show sure enough. With an honorary doctorate degree in divinity. Yep, I'm as legit as Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson. Hmm. Anyway, with that said, how about... So happy birthday three days ago to you, Luis, and... uh Celebrate, my man. Now, additional birthdays. My good friend, Raina Howenstein. A bubble-chasing badass. She's a flight engineer. She does all kinds of stuff. Um, I worked with her in jolly old Japan. 
My wife and I both absolutely adore her. Raina Howenstein, happy birthday to you, sweetie. Hope you're doing well. Yup. Squeeze me. And if you don't remember Raina, remember when our friend, rest in peace, Rick Repplinger, passed away? Um, she did a short little video. She thanked me for my video and my um, tribute to him. And then she taught me how to drink beer properly. See... This lovely lady had a big old mug of beer, and it happened to be, um, God, Miller Light? What did he always drink? A Bud Light. Shit. I don't remember now. Um, Raina helped me out on that. I think, it, God, I think it was Miller Light. Either way, he drank some sort of cheap beer. Well, my good friend Raina, and it was always the big cans too. Well, she poured it, in, she poured it into a mug, and she slammed that sucker down. Phenomenal. Slammed it down on one gulp. Big old ass beer. Big ass beer. Big old stank ass beer too. But hey, he drank his rock gut beer. I prefer my micro brews. But anyway, Raina, that was a wicked awesome video. And uh, one of these times when I get another cell phone because I stuck my last one in a cup of coffee accidentally and uh, it's ruined. What I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to play that video and show you how a lovely, beautiful lady who's totally awesome, just one of the guys, and show you how she drinks beer properly and how all of you should drink beer if you're not driving. Okay? Raina, cheers and beers to you, my dear lady. I am not going to slam this down and try to be cool like you. I can never be as cool as you. I'm a cheap imitation, but I ain't too bad. Oh, and Farrah loves you, by the way, as well. My better half. We adore you. You're always welcome to come here to Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Western Louisiana, where Pharaoh will probably make you some more enchiladas because I remember how much you love those in Japan. Yeah, baby. Mmm. Ah, good beer. Now, here's another badass that I worked with in jolly old Japan. Happy birthday to my man, CJ Hardbarger. What a kick ass last name. Hardbarger. And it's not like he's a little skinny twig wimp dude like me. Nah, this dude's a big, buff-cut, chiseled, badass crew dog. Bear crew dog! I wouldn't want to piss this guy off in a dark alley or a lighted alley. It wouldn't matter. But he's a good man. Hell of a worker. CJ, happy birthday, my man. Hope you're doing well. I know I'm doing well. Party hard and enjoy, my friend. And uh, cheers and beers to you. Ah, yummy. Next on the list. I've known this lady since high school. Hard to believe she was actually a senior when I was a freshman, because she looks a hell of a lot younger than me. Dina Marathas, happy birthday to you, my dear lady. I hope you're doing well. Always such a lovely, lovely lady. She plays the apps on the old Facebook. I haven't, sorry I haven't played the Farmville since um, Eisenhower was a fetus, but all right, it seems that long. I just don't have the time for it, and my computer's slower than the brain cell activity of an average Yankee fan. Ugh. But Dina, I hope you're doing well, and I hope you celebrate well and enjoy today. And uh, you are awesome. Absolutely wicked awesome. Way cool. And you look fantastic. You do. Beautiful. And you are always cool. What a rare combination. A beautiful woman that's also a total sweetheart. And Dina and Raina are both like that. Dina, happy birthday to you. All right, with that said, I have an a, uh, an engagement shout-out. Now, this actually occurred, I think, over 10 days ago. But it was made Facebook official by my man Derek Kosucki on August 28th. He is engaged to the Honorable Rachel DeYoung. Now, ah, oh, Derek... Aren't you a, a gat god like me? Go ask ComNav if they need an RMA or a RWA. That's what GAC stands for. AI. Either way, whatever you want to call yourself. You're a gat god. And uh, Rachel is a bubble chasing badass. And the two of you are awesome. And I want to say congratulations on your engagement. And remember this, brother Suki. Sucky. Is that your nickname, Sucky, according to the uh, Facebook? 
Sucky. He ain't sucky. He's cool. But anyway, Derek, let me tell you something. You treat the woman right, she'll treat you right. If not, karma if not, karma will bite her in the ass eventually. If not, she should have never been born and karma will bite her in the ass eventually. That's my philosophy. That's the love doctor speaking right there. You gotta treat the woman right. I treat my queen right. Trust me. I am so spoiled. It is a true blessing. Thank God. And she cooks amazing. And just, wow, my woman's awesome. Wicked awesome. But Derek and uh, Rachel, I definitely wish the best to the two of you. And I hope that when you do get married, your marriage lasts for at least 80 years. Communication is key. I promise you that. Okay? Cheers and beers to both of you. Next on the list, here is an awesome, awesome lady that I really hope I get to meet someday in person. We play the apps together on the old Facebook, and she is one of the sweetest, nicest people you will ever find, and uh, definitely a blessing to have as a friend. My friend, Uzma Tariq Azim, she watches this show each and every day, one of my dedicated daily viewers, and she is in New Orleans, Louisiana, that's where she lives. And I just want you to know, Uzma, my thoughts and prayers are definitely with you, undoubtedly. And I know you will do fine. You're going to be fine. Because like the Blues Brothers, you're on a mission for God. That's right. But uh, just want to give you a big shout out and say, hey, we're all praying for those great folks in Louisiana and Mississippi and Alabama, otherwise known as Eastern Mississippi, and Florida. Otherwise known as Southern Georgia or the ARP area. The retired folks area. The old state. The ancient state. Or remember the hanging Chad state. Ooh. Takes us back to 04 on that one. All right, I'll leave that alone. But Uzma, my friend, cheers and beers to you, my dear lady. And you're beautiful too, by the way. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Next on the list. Another beautiful lady, a way cool lady, and I've known her for over 20 years. My friend, Amasa McMahon. I haven't given you a shout out in a while, and it's always good to hear from you. And I know you watch my show each and every day, and I thank you so much for that. Much respect to you there, my dear lady. Hell yeah. So a big cheers and beers to you, Amasa. And folks, you think I got an accent? <laughs> I got no accent compared to Amasa. I remember the first time I met her and our friend Carrie. See, they're from Quincy, Massachusetts. You want to talk about a wicked hardcore new Massachusetts accent? Oh, my God. Wow. Damn, Amasa. I can barely understand you. Wicked accent. And I remember you making fun of my brother and I because our accents were the stick of yours. Hey, it's all good. Proud of me, asshole, as well. Cheers and beers to you, my dear lady. I hope you enjoy the show. Next on the list, finally, my man Scott Lincoln is better half Misty. Now here's a couple very, very, very good friends of ours. Scott is like one of my very best friends. And uh, Misty, she's like my third wife. Now, I know Candy McDowell is my second wife, and it has to be that way. But Misty, you're my other wife as well. Shh, don't tell anybody. But Scott and Misty, absolutely phenomenal friends. And uh, known you for almost eight years. And uh, thanks to you, I know about this here place in Yeehaw, Texas. You gave me a lot of pointers, a lot of insight. And I'm still in touch with a couple great men by the name of Joel Manning and uh, Chris Anderson. Still in the league. Looking forward to attempting to kick your ass this year. Yup. Ah. The Bears. Hey, Scott's a Bears fan. As is Misty, as is their three wonderful children, and as is a lot of other folks. I like the Bears myself. All right, I know they beat my Patriots 14 to 46 to 10 on January 26, 1986. I know, horrible. Doesn't mean I hate the Bears. You don't hate a team. Shoot, they weren't gonna lose to anybody that day. They were on. They were on a mission from God, undoubtedly. But. I still hated that Jim McMahon at the time. I did. I really did. But what he does these days is phenomenal. And a lot of respect to that man. So, still a Max Headroom. 
But Scott, Misty, love you guys. Scott, no homo. Trust me. You know. <laughs> it was great vacationing with you in the Canary Islands, you folks. And uh, damn, I love those beaches. Don't you, Scott? Hell yeah, we did. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, baby. We miss you guys. I hope to see you guys getting down the road. Big fans of Alabama. Big fans of the, the Bears. Alright. Now, quick random facts of the day. Other additional birthdays. If he was alive today, he would be 54 years old. We talk about Michael Jackson, fool. Michael Jackson. That Michael Jackson. Thriller, you know. Classic 1982 album. Every song was just amazing on there. Michael Jackson, happy birthday to you. From up above, hopefully. Happy birthday to the late, great Ingrid Bergman, famous for the movie Casablanca. A phenomenal actress indeed. And pretty damn beautiful, I might add. Happy birthday to the late, great saxophonist, legend, badass, Charlie the Bird Parker. Folks, if you ain't ever heard of Charlie Parker, you are uneducated. Period, dot, end of story. Look it up. Charlie Parker, trust me. You want saxology at its finest? Listen to that man. Holy smokes, he rewrote playing jazz music. 71 years ago today, he's still alive, still with us. From Lifestyles That Are Rich and Famous, Robin Leach. Happy birthday, Mr. Leach. Hope it's a wicked awesome day. Hard to believe this guy's 76 years old today. Senator John McCain from Arizona, who I would have loved to have seen as a president personally. I think he would have done a good job. On his day, in 1923, he's still with us today, the great Sir Richard Attenborough, famous movie director and actor. And if I'm not mistaken, he was the older guy with the beard and mustache balding in Jurassic Park. I think that was him. Yes, it was him. So there you go. There's your famous birthdays. Um, thoughts and prayers of those that are suffering through Hurricane Isaac right now. Ironically, seven years ago today, Hurricane Katrina hit damn near the same spot in Louisiana and Mississippi and Alabama. Thankfully, Isaac is a much weaker storm, but unfortunately, it's moving wicked slow. And I was just reading on weather.com that there's actually more rain that's going to occur with Isaac than there did with Katrina. That's scary, folks. That is absolutely scary. Just thank God the winds are only topping out at about 75, gust about 85. Top wind gust that I had seen was 102. We all know uh, Hurricane Katrina was a strong Category 3, if I remember correctly. I want to say 150, 120 mile an hour winds. It was insane. All right. Well, thoughts and prayers go out to everybody out there. On this day in 1991, Freedom won. The United Unit of Soviet Socialist Republics suspended the Communist Party. War on Communism. Wow, the Soviet Union sure did change on that day. August 29th, 1991. On this day in 1990. Now here's a funny quote, thinking about it 22 years later. Heh. <laughs> the late douche Saddam Hussein, who I always called Saddam Insane, because he was, he declared that America... The United States of America could not beat Iraq. Yeah. Well, what about that there, schmuck? Somebody's worm food. And I think Iraq is doing better as a country now. That's all I got on that. On this day in 1964, Mary, Poppin, uh, Mary Poppins was released. Very famous Disney movie. On this day in 1958, in Colorado Springs, Colorado, the Air Force Academy opened. Good job, Air Force. Lots of off ossifers. On this day in 1950, foul, and I did not know this one, the San Francisco Airport opened. I would have thought they would have opened a lot longer before that. Wow. 58 years old, San Fran Airport. On this day in 1949, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics um, exploded their very first atomic bomb. Yup. A communist country was in the nuclear age. And look what happened during the 50s with the Red Scare and the fear of nuclear war. 50s and even early 60s. Wow. 
On this day in 1909, the, first, the world's very first air race occurred in Rhines, France. And who won? Glenn Curtis, famous for his Curtis aircraft. 1909. On this day in 1896, I didn't know this one, but I'm not surprised either. Chop Suey was invented in New York City. What? What the hell are you talking about, Dr. B? Oh, yes, it was. It was invented in New York City by a chef of visiting of the visiting Chinese ambassador. Yep, the chef of the visiting Chinese ambassador invented Chop Suey. How about that? On this day in 1842, big one. Although I never understood what this one was about other than opium. The Opium War. Yes, the very famous Opium War of 1842, China versus England. That ended August 29, 1842. On this day in 1831, this one's a big one. Michael, um, oh jeez, I can't even read my own writing anymore. Michael Fandy or Fundy, Fundy, ah shit, I don't know. Michael Finley, Michael somebody. Michael F. Blah, 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 why? He demonstrated the very first electric transformer. How about that? Boy, how we've progressed 171 years since then. Wow. What that said, how about the movie of the day? Another Eddie Murphy movie, this time with Dan Aykroyd. Now think about it. Eddie Murphy was 22 years old in this movie. Dan Aykroyd was 31. The movie, Trading Places. Phenomenal movie. Eddie Murphy plays as a Poe man. Dan Aykroyd is a rich guy. And uh, basically, Eddie Murphy stars as a small-time con artist who gets a chance to switch lives with Aykroyd's big-time stock market maven. And the reversal of fortune is just a cruel joke perpetrated by two bored, rich, mega-rich brothers, Don Amici and Ralph Bellamy, as part of an idle bet. Now, ironically, five years later, in Coming to America, which I've had on this show, Don Amici and Ralph Macchio, I mean, Ralph Macchio? Don Amici and Ralph Bellamy, they're bums, because their business went bankrupt. You'll, you'll see in this movie. Um, they're bums living on the street, no longer rich. And uh, Eddie Murphy, who was playing King Joffy Jaffer, or print, the Prince, Prince Akeem. I am Akeem of Zamunda. Yeah, he was playing a prince. He drew a pile of money, and the old men found the money. And they're like, it was Randolph and Mortimer. They're like, we're back. We're back. I ain't speaking to you. Anyway, Jamie Lee Curtis is in this movie as well. And I do believe she shows a, no, I think she was in a bra and panties in this movie. She shows a boobies in a movie. I just don't remember which one it was. I can't remember if it was one from 1982 or 83. Nice rack. Um, rumor has it Jamie Lee Curtis was born a hermaphrodite. Look that one up. Okay? With that said, phenomenal movie. Very funny movie, I might add. I am Inga from Sweden. So you need to check this movie out. If you've never seen it before, you have deprived yourself of a great movie. All right. With that said, we need to get to the song of the day. And folks, we are going back. We're going way back. To Saturday, October 29th, 1938. And there's a great blues man by the name of, um, uh oh, 